the the mini awning came in yesterday so that's what we're going to do today as far as the vanny hagar project and i'll show that to you now this is the awning that mounts on the crossbars here's all the hardware what i thought was cool they're cheap alloy but they did include two legitimate open-end wrenches rather than just like a stamped sheet metal wrench and it looks to be a fairly compact unit the brand name is bimity b-i-m-i-t-i -I -I. sort of like bimini but with a t that's the color we went with and this one was right about two hundred dollars and it came with the side um sheets awnings whatever they are um so you can get some privacy block out wind sun whatever and those actually came separate i'm gonna roll them up and see if i can't fit them in this self-contained unit because that would make everything a lot easier first thing we're gonna do is pop off these end caps and lift up the rubber t-rail gasket to see if our bolts are gonna fit that t-rail they do not fit they are too small so we are going to go to the local hardware store and we're going to get some that do fit now you can see let me try to balance the tape and this the inside is right at like 15 16 now i'm going to take the van and i'm going to take mr wiggles because it's a small town um the hardware store is psh, round trip it's about an hour and i can take the dog and i'm going to take the van to make sure i don't have to go back to the hardware store because i want to buy these t-bolts once and get this project going you ready wigs deal okay we've got everything picked out and sorted ready to go pay wiggles heel good boy Marvin's didn't have any T-slot bolts. Now, they did have some weld nuts that looked like they would work, but they weren't big enough. So I'm going to see if I can't order some on Amazon real quick. And heck, if I do it now, they might be here by tomorrow. I'll show you the new hardware I did get. I got a bunch of nuts that are a little bit longer. You can see washers, lock washers, and lock nuts okay the hardware i picked up is not going to work you can see with one washer and that's not a lock washer it won't even slide in and without the washer it doesn't really have enough bite so so we're going to button that up and we're going to get the awning ready for the new T-bolts once they come in from Amazon, which is gonna be Sunday, I think. First thing you gotta do is position your T-bolts because you don't want the thing sticking over the back. You don't want it sticking over the front. So lay it on top of your rack and lay it with the zipper side facing away. We're gonna open up the back to see how much clearance we're gonna need. There you can see the zipper facing away. Well, it's looking pretty good okay there it goes it's moving it some that looks good to me you got about two inches of clearance back here and it doesn't stick out over the sunroof even much so okay we're gonna go ahead and position those bolts this is pretty easy there's your crossbar here's the bolt boom you're gonna do the same thing boom now we're going to drop the bracket on and remember you want the flat side on the bottom where the zipper is i got the front mocked up i'm going to go grab a socket set to tighten that down and we're going to do the back one you don't want to tighten these all the way down because you want to leave them loose enough to make some final minor adjustments to make sure you have it sitting where you want the rear one I crank down as hard as I can because we know that one's not going anywhere. And you only need one to make your final adjustments. Now, while that's as far as we can go on the awning, I did get my Rhino Rack fish rod in 
and or fish rod rack and that should have t bolts included so we should be able to mount it on the other side we're going to open the box and see what's happening that's pretty much how it's going to look once we have it actually finally installed not just mocked up you can see how the legs aren't mounted here's the rhino rack we're going to open it up and see what's there i'm not sure they're going to fit but the rhino rack has t-rail bolts in place and just push the button it opens up and there's access to the t-rail bolts the hex head let's see if it works we have great success as borat would say check it out it's sliding on perfect we've got the t-slot gasket cut and we're going to slide the first one in now we have to trim another piece of gasket to fit in between we're going to finish tightening these up and we're going to move on to the rear one first one's installed the rhino rack lockable fishing rod racks are installed and they're nice and secure and solid the awning however is only mocked up and that's as far as we can go y'all so i gonna wrap this video up i'm gonna slap a couple stickers on here love y'all and every time i make progress with this i will put another video out hope you all have a good weekend i hope you all have something planned i hope you all have better weather than us and we'll see y'all soon